Merry Christmas internet and welcome to the Itch Boots Christmas special. <laughs> I hope you're all having a really nice Christmas. Well, I am uh, all ready for Christmas. Uh, Dano really wanted to dress up as uh, Rudolph. So, well, I guess she got what she wanted. I fabricated uh, a beautiful Rudolph <laughs> for Dano. So we are all ready to go. I am now in uh, Chile in a small town, which I don't even know the name. Uh, I will show you on the map kind of where I am. And the plan today is to ride to Temuco, which is a bigger city, because I need some things. Uh, let me see. I am now uh, here. Oh, I'm making shadows. I am here. And Temuco is over here. But I am going to take loads of back roads here uh, past Pucon through National Park. Uh, and then on here to Temuco. So with all the detours and back roads that I'm planning, uh, it will be about 240 kilometers today. Uh, so that should be uh, pretty uh, doable. Um, what else? Let's go. Wow, look at it! <laughs> you see that? I think that is already Volcano Villa Rica. Let me check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is Volcano Villa Rica. Awesome, I'm gonna get a lot closer to it. But I didn't expect already to see a view from here. And it even looks like it's smoking a little bit. Cool, right? Oh, this is such a nice ro road to ride. And you have this uh, morning fresh air. I don't know how to explain it. But uh, oh, it's great. Riding with an open visor and... Oh. Maybe I can pass. Completamente. Scope? Hay que esperar un momento que coloquen ese tubo para poder pasar. Ah, podemos pasar? Bent minutos. Bent Oké, verder. All this black dirt kind of gives away how close we are to uh, to the volcano, or there are several vol volcanoes in the area actually. But uh, everywhere you get this uh, really dark black volcanic sands and sediments and ash and it's stunning, right? Do you see this? It looks like dust. See? But in fact, see there as well? Is this a uh, hot steam? <laughs> See, it keeps on going. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, uh, there are hot springs everywhere as well here. This is a very active uh, area. And the steam is just coming out of the ground. <laughs> Incredible.
Parque Nacional Filarica. Wow, look at all this volcanic rock everywhere. Incredible. I've never been riding through an area like this. Ah, I cannot pass here. I thought I could uh, pass, but I don't know. Let's see. Hola! Uh. <laughs> Puede pasar o no? Um, uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Uh, huh? No, más uh, Tamuco. Ah, sí, pues. ¿Sí? Gracias. Oh, that's nice. I can pass. That's great. Oh, this is going to be a nice ride. Fantastic. Oh, wow. Look at that. This is in the Araucaria. Araucaria. It's amazing. So if you saw that video where I am visiting the petrified forest in Argentina, if you remember, those fossil trees, they were the ancestors of the modern day Araucaria. Incredible. See how huge it is. Oh, look now I'm just walking around it. So this probably has a diameter of, let me see, one, two, three, about three meters in diameter. It's amazing. What a beautiful place. I had no idea. I, well, I thought today's ride was going to be good, <laughs> but I didn't think it was going to be this good. That I was going to ride through this park and it was going to look like this. Because, yeah, looks like there's absolutely nobody around here. And it's just so beautiful with the, the contrast of the green and then the black volcanic sand. Or, you know, pumice. See? Cool, right? easiest trail <laughs> but uh, amazing wow what a place Oofpa. Oof. <laughs> it's not an easy trail what do I do I think I better go on the left side
far. <laughs> oh, that's not so easy. But then I did it. A pretty tough trail, I have to say. I just turned around, it is too, too hard of a track and it goes on for another 20 kilometers and there's absolutely nobody here so and I have no idea how bad it's going to be now I can still go back I think <laughs> there's a couple of uh, tricky sections but going down is always a bit easier but uh, how much I would have loved to continue because it's just so awesome riding here but uh, there's been uh, quite some rain for two days and I think that's why everything is so washed out like this and uh, yeah it's just a bit tricky see <laughs> so uh, uh, it was really nice riding here but uh, I'm not gonna force more than I can do See, this is all washed out. I'm glad I came here. It's a shame that uh, I can't ride through the entire park, but yeah, uh, it's not worth the risk if I get stuck there. But yeah, if you if you drop the bike on a steep section like that, which is so uneven and washed out, uh, it's really hard to uh, pick it back up. I'm sure I can do it, but you have to take off all the luggage and then hope to get it up and then to get it out there. You know, that's really tough, because if you can't really park it or hold it, then, uh, oh, it's just a nightmare, I think. <laughs> so, and I'm not feeling like getting myself into a nightmare. Ah, there's the ranger. <laughs> No puede pasar. No. no. <laughs> Creo que era lluvia, quizás. El, el camino es, es difícil. Demasiado riesgo para mí sola. Entonces. <laughs> I'm sure they do it on their bikes, but hey. <laughs> they must be good riders. Gracias. Adiós. So I am now on the other side of the volcano, Volcano Via Rica. So when I was riding in the national park, I was on the other side. Wow. 
awesome, right? So this volcano is one of the most active volcanoes in Chile. The last eruption was in May this year, so it is super active. And even now you can see there's smoke coming out of the top over there. So now I am on the side where is the town Via Rica. And Via Rica means place of wealth. And that's probably because there was a, a silver and a gold rush here. Um, I don't know exactly when, <laughs> I think now it's all finished. So the volcano is named after the town, but this volcano also has another name, which is called Ruka Pian, which is Mapuche language for devil's house. <laughs> so that's probably because it's so active all the time. And this is one of three um, stratovolcanoes which run perpendicular to the Andes. And a stratovolcano is the most common type of volcano. Um, and it's characterized by this conical shape and basically it's built up by many, many layers, strata, of ash and hardened lava. So the volcano is almost 3000 meters high. And on the top of the volcano, there is permanent snow and there's even 40 square kilometers of glaciers. Um, unfortunately, this glacier is melting quite rapidly. It's reduced by 25% in size over the last 50 years and it's just getting smaller and smaller every single year. So this is definitely not like the, the huge glaciers in the south where I was in Perito Moreno. That one is uh, stable, but uh, this one is slowly disappearing. So that's quite sad. So um, now it's time to ride to uh, Temuco, which is uh, I think about 100 kilometers from here. Uh, so I'll just go to the paved road now and then uh, ride to Temuco. So let's go. Okay. Bye, volcano. Thanks for not erupting when I was here. I just reached the highway. The last bit towards uh, Temuco, still uh, 20 kilometers. And I have to pay some toll. Hola. <laughs> Before I go and look for accommodation, I am going to try to get a tire, front tire. No, first I'm gonna make my way through this traffic. <laughs> but um, yeah, I changed my, my plans a little bit and I realized that in the next thousand kilometers or so, I am going to be super remote. So Temuco is my last chance to change my front tire. So obviously, it would have been easier if I would have done that at the Royal Enfield place in uh, Villa Langostura. <laughs> ah, you can't always have a perfect planning. So uh, I'm just gonna do it here. And then I don't have to worry about that tire uh, for quite some time. So I found a shop here in uh, Temuco and uh, they're now changing my uh, front tire and they actually had the Pirelli MT60 here so I thought yeah let's just go for the standard one uh, I've always uh, been uh, pretty happy about the tire so um, now uh, they're gonna, just gonna change the tire for me and then uh, off I go so gonna be super fast <laughs> So this is the brand new tire, look how much profile, that is just uh, much better, especially with all the roads that are going to come up, I think the next thousand kilometers are going to be a lot of off-road and very remote, so um, I better have some proper uh, profile, because this is the old one. See, so there is all, not much left uh, on the uh, old one, so better change it. Okay. Muchas gracias. Bye bye. <laughs> gracias. Chao.
<laughs> so I would say Merry Christmas Dono you got a new front tire from Santa how about that that was super quick <laughs> it took like half hour so it was all good just around the corner here there should be a place to stay I don't have a reservation so let's hope they have a room I think it's here Hola, ¿es un hospedaje? Sí, hospedaje. Uh, uh, ¿Puedo quedarme? Este, tienen que venir por el frente, sí. Ah. Por el frente, por, por al mismo, la, la misma altura, pero por todo el Ok, voy a, voy a buscar. <laughs> ya, es por el, a ver. Ok, gra gracias. <laughs> ok, so, I'm at the back door, it looks like. Hola. <laughs> Hola. Gracias. Ah, perfect. Muy bien. <laughs> Hello, puppers. Hey. Oh, we got a doggy. Welcome in Tabuco. This is my lovely room. Uh, whew, what a day! Well, I really enjoyed today. Uh, it was really nice. I had an amazing ride. Uh, okay, I had to turn around in a national park, but I think it's important to realize when something doesn't is, isn't fun anymore and just becomes a struggle. And I think in that case, it's just better to uh, to turn back. So I have no regrets. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this extra long, okay, I hope it's a little bit longer than uh, usual, uh, Christmas special. Um, the No is super happy because uh, she got the new front tire for Christmas. And I just stopped at the DJI uh, store uh, on my way to here. And that was actually the reason why I came to Tomuko, because uh, they had a drone shop here. And for me, uh, my Christmas gift is that I get to fly a drone again. So um, in the next video, I am back up in the air again. So I'm looking really looking forward to it uh, and uh, be able to share some uh, drone footage again. So uh, I think a pretty good Christmas. Hmm? So uh, I hope you had an amazing Christmas too. And if you like this Christmas special, then please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video.